I often hear a lot of talk in gaming in regards to AAA titles, about how we should all be excited for these games, that these games are gonna be the greatest games of all time, or that the PlayStation 4 has no games after Bloodborne because the rest aren't AAA. And my whole thing is, why does it matter? I'm not saying AAA titles don't matter, because of course they do. Lots of people buy consoles for these games. But to say a console has no games because they aren't AAA is just stupid. Whenever somebody says the PlayStation 4 has no games coming out, I'll challenge them on that. I'll say something like, what do you mean there's no games? Just look at all these great games coming out. There's Tales of Hysteria, Dragon Quest Heroes, Earth Defense Force, Tokiden, Disgaea 5, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, Saint Seiya Soldier Souls. What do you mean there's no games? I just listed all these great games for you. And then they'll say something like, yeah, but are any of them AAA titles? No, but I don't see what that has to do with any- Exactly, the No Game Station 4 confirmed. And it's like, why does it not being AAA matter? Does it somehow not make it good? Is it no longer a game? Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Maybe I'm missing something. But if I can buy the game and I can play it, Unless there's some other factor that I'm missing as to what defines the game, I'm pretty sure these games qualify as games. I don't get why people go crazy for AAA games anyways. More often than none, I hear about how some game was a huge disappointment, how the game was broken at launch, that something inside the game ruins the game, that the game runs poorly, and so on. If you like these games, fine. But don't act like every other game is irrelevant because they aren't AAA. I feel like a lot of people who use the word AAA don't even know what it means. So let me break it down for you. The term AAA dates back to the mid 90s and was used by developers to sum up how large or costly the game was to make. That's it. It didn't determine if your game was amazing or not and it's been proven time and time again. Let's look at Destiny, the most expensive game ever made with a 500 million dollar budget. 500 million dollars people. 500. And what did we get? An incomplete, bare bones disappointment of a game. Same with Watch Dogs, another AAA game that people are calling disappointment of the generation. So can we start with all this AAA talk? If you think the amount of money that goes into a game determines if it's good or not, not only are you wrong and stupid, but you're wrong and stupid, and you're also limiting yourself to what games you could play. So instead of calling people casuals, retards, gay, weeaboo, and all other sorts of crazy things, try expanding your horizons, open your mind and play new games. You might be surprised by what you find. So let's just call games what they are, games, and stop using the term AAA to discredit indies and other games with lower budgets. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go lock myself in my room and play some Disgaea 5 for hundreds of hours. Maybe I'm not even playing Disgaea 5. It's not a AAA title after all. Maybe I just spent $65 on a case and I'm just looking at an illusion on my screen. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I will see you guys later. Take care. Have a good one.